Welcome, my name is Anthony Wenzel and I am a sales engineer for the Dell Endpoint Systems Management Team and today we're going to be talking about how to image a XPS 13 over the network using the K2000. First, we'll need a couple of devices. We'll need the USB to Ethernet dongle and we'll also need a USB storage device which we're going to install the case boot environment to. Now, to do this, we need to make sure that we have the drivers for this Ethernet to USB adapter on our K2000 in the appropriate locations. So I'm going to search for USB just to show you that I do have the drivers already on this K2000. You can see they're listed as the ASICs drivers. Uh, and I got these from the Cisco website. Now, if you want to add these to the KBE onto the driver share, you're going to browse to the driver share using Samba and we're going to place them into the KBE Windows X64 and X86 folders and you can see I've created a subfolder for these specific drivers here. Now once we've added our drivers to the Samba share we need to let the K2000 know about them and we do that by recaching. So we're going to choose action and recache drivers. We're going to simply just recache the KBox boot environment drivers and once that's finished, now we need to rebuild the case boot environment. You need a couple of applications to do this. You need to have Microsoft Wake installed, and you also need to have the K2000 Media Manager installed. Uh, in the Media Manager, we're going to go ahead and enter the IP address of our K2000 and the password. We're going to give our boot environment our name, and this is going to be an x86 version. And once you're finished naming it and choosing the architecture, we're going to go ahead and hit Start Upload. That will build our boot environment for us and upload it to the K2000, making it available. Now, once we've done that, the next step is to get this boot environment onto a USB key. And so we're going to find our KBE under Deployments and Boot Environments. And then we're going to check a box that says Create Bootable USB Flash Drive Image for this boot environment and hit save. When we do that, it actually will build the uh, downloadable package to install this to a USB drive. And now we're going to download that to our desktop. So we're going to save this file, we're going to unzip it and open up the folder in Windows and we'll see everything we need to install this. So here it is. We're going to double click on the install and by now I've already inserted my USB key into, the, into my notebook here and it's already recognized that as my flash drive. I'm going to choose NTFS and hit Format Install. Now it's going to build that boot environment and install it into the KBE or into the USB key. And we're going to insert that on the right USB 3.0 port. And we're going to insert the USB to Ethernet dongle on the left USB 2.0 port. And with these two devices in the notebook, we're going to go ahead and, and boot this device. Now, in order to do that, we need to have the notebook set up in a couple ways. We're going to log into this BIOS and confirm a few settings to make sure that we're going to be able to do this. If you have done this right, you'll notice that we have a USB storage option uh, available to us to, to actually boot to it. So let's go into the setup here and actually confirm that we have this correct. First thing is, we need to make sure we're on BIOS version AO6 or AO7, and I am on AO7. We need to have USB emulation enabled. And we also need to have the legacy boot ROM enabled so that we can see those legacy options. Now if we're happy with that, we're going to hit F10 to save and reboot. And we're going to go back into the uh, boot ROM here, and we'll choose the USB storage device. Now when I hit this, it's going to boot to that uh, KBE we have on the USB key. And I have sped this section of the video up just slightly to improve things. Uh, this will take a few minutes normally. Okay, now that we are loaded the boot environment, we'll actually see WinPE start up. At this point, it's now recognizing our USB to Ethernet dongle and installing the driver into WinPE. 
and it will actually uh, start blinking if you have an activity LED on the on your particular USB to Ethernet adapter. Okay, so now we're actually booted into the K2000 and we may now capture or deploy an image as we need to.